Hey guys, so I'm starting out by popping some tape on the outer corners of my eyes and then I'm priming them using my MAC Pain, no, using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC15. Sorry, I had a mind blank. So I'm just blending that out using a little mini, um, I think it's the 4D HD Kabuki, but I'll have it linked anyway. And then I'm just setting down that product using my Face of Australia Loose Translucent Powder. Then dipping into the Sigma Creme de Couture palette, I'm taking this middle shade on the top row just to act as kind of a transition shade. It's just like a light browny red. Then I'm taking the shade next to it which is more of a mauve purple shade and I'm just doing the same thing. I'm using an E40 brush as well just to make sure it was all diffused. Then I'm taking this super light lilac purple and just kind of adding this in the very top of the crease, closest to the brow bone. And then I'm taking this super beautiful lilac-y, lavender-y kind of shade and I'm using an E25 from Sigma for this. It's not as pigmented as I would have hoped, it does take a lot of building up, but I popped it through the crease and then I took the next shade which is more of like a grape shade. And I'm starting to pack this on and build it up in the outer corner and in the crease. Then I'm just going in with that darker, more eggplanty purple just to add a little bit more depth in that very outer corner. And then I'm taking the BH Cosmetics Take Me To Brazil palette. I'm taking this purple in the top of the palette. I kind of just really wanted to build up these purples. You don't have to do this. I don't think it made much of a difference, but I used these two purple shades from this palette anyway. And then I did go in with a little bit of the black shade and just use that right along where I used the tape, just so to create like a kind of very smoky effect on the very very lower lash line and outer corner. Then I took my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and a, I believe this is an E56 brush and I just did the kind of half cut crease type of effect so I applied it to the lid and kind of stopped three quarters of the way out. Then I took the BH Cosmetics Galaxy Chic Palette and I took this kind of like aqua -y, light bluey shade and I just started to pack this onto the lid where I applied the concealer. It did take a couple of goes to get it to the full opacity that I wanted but it's such a beautiful shade. And then I did just take this slightly darker blue and kind of apply it where the blue meets the purple in the outer corner. Then just going back into the creme de couture palette I'm taking that deep bright grape shade and I'm just building a little bit more of that up in the outer corner. And then I do just take a tiny, tiny little blending brush. It will be listed on the screen, obviously, as I always do. But I just blend it out the edges with that above the cut crease. Then I'm taking the Stila Glitter and Glow Eyeshadow in Diamond Dust. And I'm just using an E05 eyeliner brush just to apply this above that blue shadow. And then going in with the Sigma Line Ace in black, I am just creating a winged liner to kind of complete the upper eye look. Then I went ahead and removed the tape and just used some micellar water on a cotton pad just to clean up all of the fallout below my eyes. And then I just used a black liner to tight line my eyes and used the Benefit Their Real Mascara to give them a coat. Then for falsies, I used the Klepke Cosmetics Lashes in the, in the style Istanbul. Moving on to the face, I primed my skin using this Bourjois Primer. It's kind of like a blurring primer. So I just rub this into my skin, mainly focusing on the areas where I have enlarged pores. And then for foundation, I use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. Mine's in the shade Y245. And then I use a Sigma F88 or the Flat Angled Kabuki. I can't remember the number just to blend it all out into my skin. 
Um, so I did kind of two layers where I felt like I needed more coverage and just one layer for the rest of my face. And then to conceal, I just used the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC15 again. I just dotted this under my eyes and then down the center of my face. And I used the Sigma Triangle Brush. I cannot remember what it's called, but it will be linked and listed as always. So I just blended all of that out. Then I use this little cream highlight from Mecca. It's actually the Mecca brand and I got it as a little birthday freebie gift. So it's actually beautiful and I will link down below the product because I can't remember what it's called. Um, so I just use my fingers to apply that to all of the areas where I normally highlight. And then I did go in and set my concealed areas and kind of the rest of my face with my Face of Australia Loose Translucent Powder once again. And I'm just using an F30 brush, oh, oh my gosh, sorry, an F35 brush to start and then I swapped over to an F10. Then to bronze and contour my skin, I used the Benefit Hula Bronzer and I used an F23 from Sigma just to apply this to all of the outer perimeters of my face. Then for blush, I used this adorable little duo from Bourjois and I just used an F37 brush to apply it to my cheeks. And then to highlight, I took the Sigma Chroma Glow palette and I first took this like light champagne oh my gosh, shade um, and I just applied it all over my face in like quite a decent amount. And then I did go back in and pick up a tiny bit of that purpley shade and just apply a little bit more of that on my cheeks and my cupid's bow, my chin and that kind of area. So it had a little bit of a purple shift. I set everything down with my Cover FX mattifying spray also. Then I took that light lilac -y shade and buffed that under the eyes, took the grape shade, did the same thing. And then I went into the hot pink shade in the very upper corner and I just used like a dome utility brush just to really buff that in under the lower lash line. And now time for the glitters. I used a primer from LA Splash I believe. And then I went in first with the MAC glitter in pink. It's just a really finely milled little glitter which I actually knocked over in the process of doing this. So I have pink glitter literally everywhere. Um, then I applied some lower lash mascara and then I went back in with the In Your Dreams glitter which is more of the chunky iridescent kind of glitter and this just made it look so much more beautiful so I applied it all underneath the eyes so yeah. Then I just went back in to the Chroma Glow palette and used that highlight shade again. I wish I had to use something brighter but you know whatevs. Then for lipstick, I chose to use Salt Life from Tarte. This is one of their Color Splash lipsticks, and it's one of my favorites. And then here I'm just applying my little decal on my forehead, which I got from Sports Girl in like the discount section, but you can literally get them everywhere nowadays. And that completes my festival makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and stay safe and have fun if you are going to any festivals soon, and I will see you in my next one. She just stayed and stayed That's right Here all night And Chandler will never get laid Shit, dude.